Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong, and welcome to the back of this. I have a new toy to play with. It's basically a USB soldering iron. Like this, but not like this, because this is this kind of soldering iron, and this is this kind of soldering iron. Have my battery here. Just looking for my charge doctor. Here he is. He was hiding from me. Right, so we've got a couple of USB ports. I can never remember which one. This one's the two, two juices. It's a different design. It's, to it's a bit kind of doesn't seem as nice as that one, does it? It's not got all of the accoutrement, but it's uh, certainly nice and simple. Way more expensive though. If you buy this in CPC, it's going to cost you like a tenner, whereas the other ones are like three kit from China. I have this SMS2 RGB board by Simon Locke at www.eargan.com. I do apologise if I'm not pronouncing that right, but you know, I'm not really good at pronouncing something that you've probably just made up or got from Lord of the Rings. But thank you so much for sending it anyway. Um, you've got this really, looks really dodgy. 9 volt output, only for use of USB soldering iron. So it's a USB mini um, blowing up device. It looks like that's for destroying USB minis, but look how thin that wire is. Mm. I'm not gonna try that on any of my 9 volts because they're my precious 9 volts right now. You've got double cable, look, so if you don't have enough juice out of your single port, like your laptop or something, you can double up on that. And I'm just gonna hook it like this. I should be giving myself more cable. I don't really wanna unwrap it, but okay. Ugh. Looks like a pain to put it back. I could have just tried a different cable, but I think it's only fair we try it with the one it came with, because we know it's gonna be crap. On, nothing. So it's got like a nice, I'm gonna turn it off, zero. So it pulls the 5.14 volts, 5.07 down to 4.63, 4.72 volts. I know you're gonna have trouble seeing that, take my word for it, but it's drawing about one amp. A fresh soldering iron. So let's, uh, let's hook up this Sega Master System 2 RGB board. Mm, it's nice. Um, so it's got an LED in the end, which is cute, but no, it must be, it is getting warm, but it's just, it's not as quick as the other ones. The other ones seem to be super quick, if you recall. This one is actually heating up like a traditional soldering iron. The other ones had some sort of sensor, you know, if you, that seemed to take their time. So when you push the button, it would sort of set a 555 five, five timer off and it would stay on for a certain amount, but okay, it's running now though. Yeah, it's hot at that part of the the soldering iron. We're not particularly hot at the tip yet. Let's put a big blob on. Let's condition it. It's a brand new soldering iron. Clean that off. Come on, let's do this thing. Yeah, I I think out of the gate. The other style from China were uh, definitely a lot more convincing, you know. I'm kind of having to hold this in a really weird way to try to get to do anything. It's as if the tip's not getting um, hot enough. But I mean, if you're in, a, in a, a pinch, you could do it. I think it's probably quite good for automotive where you, you've got room and you can just use the flat to do some wiring. So that's probably what I'm going to use it for. But yeah, I'm uh, I'm not massively impressed with this. I'm just gonna knock it off. Let's uh, try not to burn ourselves. So that is the mega, mega power USB soldering iron. Um, yeah, disappointing. Disappointing, but you know, it's better than nothing. If you are gonna get one though, I would advise you get this style. This style is really nice and there'll be links to it in my other video and I might try to remember to put links to it in this video too. As ever, thanks for watching.